Hey guys, I'm going to be talking about a game being developed by one of the developers for Terraria. And just in case you didn't realize, Terraria is not getting any more updates. Just so you guys know. Sorry to hurry to you, I'm sad as well. This is a new game, it's a follow-up. And it's looking pretty awesome, I must say. Uh, and... I've been looking forward to this game for a long time. They have playable races. It, from what it looks, a ton of tools to help you with your uh, with your adventures or whatever. Um, they have a lot better uh, graphics. It looks well, not a lot, but better graphics than Terraria. It looks like, considering this picture. Uh, I'm gonna have some, uh, cool dynamic stuff, and just posted its procedurally generated guns, so here's a mixture of a ton of guns. So there's like, it looks like there's flamethrower, rocket launcher, sniper, assault rifles, machine guns, and stuff like that, but what I'm really excited is, is the part here, pushing the game towards release. That could mean really anything, but it seems they've been working really hard to give it, to start distributing it. And I really hope they distribute it soon, because I re can't wait for this game. It looks awesome. So let me tell you about how it actually works. So you're a space explorer. Um, let me read this. Alright, um... Alright, you're a space explorer, and you, you're trying to, you're, you're exploring planets, and there's like an electric log book, and randomly generate stats and stuff for the weapons, um, so yeah, you, uh, he wants the planets to be a throwaway experience, so you take all the loot you want, scan stuff if you want, but if you really like a world, they allow you to claim one world for your own. And there's servers, and you can play this comp this game completely single player, or completely co-op, but uh, I think it's supposed to be co-op, you're supposed to play this game fully co-op. Uh, I think it's just more fun with more people, I agree with him. Like, on all the games, I can... I play like Tech It, it's so much more fun with uh, more people. And yeah, so that's the storyline. You get to claim one world, you get to loot all for the benefit of your own kind of uh, like a comic series I used to watch. Uh, I think it's, yeah, it's um, Johnny Tess, that's what I got that from, where they just destroy planets for the benefit of their own. That's kind of what this is about. Might be what it's inspired, but I really doubt it. Um, there's guest wallpapers, so if you're really good at drawing, um, get a wallpaper. Uh, also, I'd love to see any wallpapers you'd make about Starbound. You should really look around it. It's a real, it looks really cool, so please, like, put a link for the image. Because I really like seeing artwork, so. So the about, there's, it's a sandbox game. It's all, it's like Terraria, except there's actually somewhat of a storyline. There's a space station. A space station is like, sprawling full attention. You can produce mechs, which is pretty awesome. Um, and captured enemies can be studied and trained. And uh, the station contains everything you would want to explore with. So it looks like uh, from here, it looks like there's maybe, maybe this is like a robbery from a ship or something. Looks like a pretty boss ship. Those two look like they're like, oh, surrendering. And there's just that guy's like, what are you two doing? It may, that girl might have made this huge entire ship. And that guy, is, I think that's T, actually. Yeah, all the, I think all these people are the developers. And they're all playing together. I think that's what, that's what I get from that computer. In this picture, they have 
the space cowboy and a scientist up there and a uh, the little lady scientist and a guy looking at a blue screen. These might be where you maybe you can like mix chemicals, study study creatures, maybe put like water creatures in there. Green light, uh, red light might mean that the environment is not clear. Um, environment is not clear. Uh, may maybe the background looks pretty dynamic, if you ask me. Uh, endless planets, they're randomly generated planets and randomly all stuff. They want you to feel like an explorer and finding a new home. This is only a scratching server with what we have in store. So, I think they have a lot. When I see the fact, um... Where is it? Yeah, it will be multiplayer, and competitively there is going to be PvP. And another exciting thing for people who might not have that much money, including me, um, it says the price is still to be decided. That's what TBD stands for. But we want it to be accessible for anyone. So hopefully it's like maybe like ten dollars or something. What is system requirement? Um is still in vermin, but we've had good sys Yeah, they've run it on lots of old stuff and it seems like it works. And yeah, I mean C plus plus. I found that interesting. I've tried coding in Java and I think it I'm not sure about C++. I've tried programming Lua. It's pretty simple. It doesn't have as much uh, preparingness. It doesn't have as much real preparingness for as uh, as does Java, which I like Lua better because it doesn't. Really, you just go right to it. You don't have to do like Java class or anything. Is there anything? Um, and. Yeah, I guess that's a picture of the Mac. Maybe they already have that. And there's a question. Will you be able to find that? He says, yup. The team, it shows everything about the team. Karen, um, yeah, all that stuff. Media screenshots. In this screenshot, you can see there might be, like, craftable snowmen. Uh, uh, might be a space explorer. Or, because it looks like he might be guarding that, uh, Going that chest over there, space cowboy. Um, I think I guess penguins can swim. I didn't know that. Well, yeah, but not in this game. Looks like the uh, islands. It's got like an aurora type thing going on there. Um, if you look up here, it says Furious George, so that might be him, right down there. Um, looks like you have bombs. Those might be healing antidotes. That might be like warmth, or maybe that's like healing that, and maybe that's warmth. This looks like a uh, sorry, GPS thing. Uh, and laser gun, a bomb. Uh, that looks like a placeable machine gun. Uh, and there's stuff, There's looks like there's this little scanner, so you can see what there is. And let's go to the Twitter real quick. So, here's something T posted a bit ago. Hey guys, what's the... Yeah, uh, I'll skip to the part. I need something to work on. So, maybe that might mean that the, uh... That the developers have a decided uh, thing, but they're not ready to release it because they want to have the suspense and the whatevers. Um, but I think they said, I've heard somewhere, that they would be, um, okay, I gotta skip through that part. It's not very important. Anyways, I need to show you this. I'll be quiet for the rest of the video. Alright, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's shadows, you can see. I'll see you next time.